Welcome to our video on assessment in EMI. In this video, we will look at the topic of assessment in general and discuss different types of assessment. Let's begin by defining what we mean by assessment. Here, assessment means any type of evaluation of student work, such as tests or quizzes, presentations, reports, papers, in-class activities, or homework. Often, it means something you assign a grade for, and this is obviously important for students' lives and potentially careers. Grades impact students' ability to get reference letters and thus jobs. Assessments can also be given where you don't record a grade. Not surprisingly, assessment in EMI courses varies, just as the courses themselves vary in many ways. One reason that assessments vary is that lecturers often have a lot of autonomy in their courses and can design and grade assessments largely on their own. Also, lecturers may not be sharing students' work with each other and discussing expectations on students' work. This may lead to great variability in assessment types and practices, as well as grading expectations. So given the importance of assessments to students' lives, and given the variability in EMI courses with how assessments are done, it is worth our time to dig in deeper into this topic. One thing to keep in mind is that no matter what the assessment is, they should all be linked to the course student learning objectives. Remember that when we plan a course according to the backward design model, we begin by identifying what we want students to be able to do by the end of the course, meaning we write observable and measurable learning objectives. And then after we do that, we identify what types of assignments or assessments we can use in order to determine if students have met the learning objectives that we set. In other words, creating assessments for our EMI course is part of step two in the backward design model. That means that as you write your own assessments, you'll want to refer back to your student learning objectives for the course. I think it's useful to consider two main types of assessment, formative and summative. Use formative assessment when you want to figure out how well students understand a concept or can accomplish a skill and use that information to decide what you will teach next. In this case, you might not record any grades. You just want to know if students can do what you hope they can do. For example, if you give students a quiz on a topic and over half of the class doesn't pass the quiz, you might decide to take 10 minutes in the next class and review the material that students didn't know. So formative assessment is used to inform or plan instruction. We can think of three different ways you can do this. You can assess facts or principles that you want students to learn. Assess if students can do that something that you taught them, such as a lab experiment. Or assess how well they can reflect on, evaluate, or analyze a concept. 